Hi Purse Pals! So as promised, this is a review for the Portland Leather Goods Envelope Crossbody, and this is the shade Cognac. I got this in the Almost Perfect sale that happened a few weeks ago, where AP Goods, I think, were an extra 10% off. Um, I think it was a pretty good deal because I got it for, I want to say, about $70. Uh, right now, there's a screaming deal on the PLG website for the honey version of this same bag, which, by the way, comes with a crossbody strap, of course. I'll talk about that in a bit. But the honey version, which this is my honey bag from about a year ago, um, it's a much more orange, um, also smooth leather, leather, but it's also a lighter brown. The honey version of the bag on the Screamin' Deals is about $64, I want to say right now, so that's a pretty good deal. Anyway, I chose Cognac because I thought it would be a bit dressier um, and still versatile with a lot of outfits that I have. I can't say that I'm a fan of the white stitching, but the contrast is nice sometimes, so maybe it'll grow on me. Um, the dimensions of the crossbody, envelope crossbody, are almost 6 inches in height, so it's 5.625 inches in height, and then the width is 8.625 inches across. Alright, and it's not super deep, but it does have a lot of room for many things and I'll show you that in a bit. Um, I think that this envelope crossbody can get pretty heavy if you have a lot of things in it. So let me show you what I have inside right now. So it has a really nice zippered pocket on the back, which you can of course use for your phone, but I stuck a couple checkbooks in there because I need them from time to time. Just wanted everything in one place. And then on the inside, there are actually two sections. One which is just a deep pocket. I can't put my phone in there right now since I'm filming with it, but I do have a case so I can show you that it fits like that inside that first pocket. Okay. And then in the second pocket, there are four card slots. I have mine stuffed, and then I also have some cash down there, okay. There's also a smaller pocket back here where you can stick a few extra cards. All right, so this does fit quite a bit. I could also put a lipstick in there if I wanted to, maybe even my keys. I don't know if I'd wanna put my keys in because it would probably scratch the inside a little bit. Okay. So you can see it's starting to get a little bit lumpy with the keys in there. Can't really snap it if I have it so stuffed, especially with my phone in that first pocket. But you can close it otherwise. Okay, And it gives a really nice satisfying snap when you close the button, just like with the mini envelope wallet. So that's definitely a plus. I love that sound. <laughs> um, so like I said, when you stuff it full, it can get pretty heavy. I actually weighed mine without my phone in it and it weighed a pound. So keep that in mind if you plan to use this as a wristlet. I love the wristlet strap because it's so soft and pliable very comfortable and it's definitely wide enough. I have small wrists, but even for a bigger wrist, I think it would still be very comfortable. And then of course, it comes with a crossbody strap. Okay, so you can easily take it on and off to suit your needs. Okay, and it's a very pretty long strap. The strap goes um, from 31 inches in length to 52 inches in length, and it's three quarters of an inch wide. The strap also has the white stitching on it. 
It's very, very flexible and pliable, which I like. The leather is super soft, but it's not double-sided. Only the, there's, so there's smooth on um, the leather part on the one side and then suede on the other. So you might see some flex of the suede coming off onto different things until you have this bag for a while. Okay, so that's what fits and how you can put the strap on. Um, I'll just quickly model it for you now. So I am 5'2 and petite, but I'm wearing a bulky sweater. Okay, but here it is as a crossbody. You can also shorten the strap by a lot and use it more as a belt bag. Okay. Sort of wearing it across the body like that, which I think I'm honestly in favor of this more than the crossbody. option just because it, it is pretty comfortable and if you don't have checkbooks and a phone in it it'll lay uh, more against your side or against your stomach otherwise it'll be pretty flat across okay but this is really comfortable and then of course if you would like to put it around your waist you can do that too so what I usually do is extend the strap all the way it can go. Okay. And then you would wrap it around twice around your waist. So that it sits just like this. Okay, and then clip it again. Okay, so there you go. The envelope crossbody. It's great as a belt bag, as a crossbody bag, as a wristlet. Uh, I'm I, right now I have it as a wallet in my PLG tote backpack and it does make the entire bag a little bit heavier because I have a lot of stuff in it um, so I'm still deciding as to whether I'm going to keep it as my current wallet or not but I think this is definitely a really nice piece to have and super useful because it's so versatile right if you have any questions about this product or any others that I mentioned today, feel free to let me know in the comments. Hit, hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, and hopefully I'll have some reviews of the full-size crossbody and the tote backpack coming up soon. Thanks for watching!